Dead grew up in Winnipeg and uh, played all his outdoor hockey there. <laughs> he signed young. He belonged to the Montreal Canadiens, signed when he was 16, back in the day when they allowed that. And then they sent him out to Victoria. And back in those days, the West Coast was almost like a graveyard for hockey players. And he was almost ready to quit. He fell in love with uh, Victoria. I mean, his favorite expression was, uh, I love it out here because you don't have to shovel rain after growing up in, in, Win in Winnipeg. He played on the line in Victoria. I think they call it the kid line back in those days, obviously, because he was young. And that line had a good reputation. And when the Canadians traded him to New York, he uh, made the team uh, immediately after he was traded to New York. But yeah, the, the groundwork in Victoria, he, he considered it home, absolutely. He was always a real hard worker. And obviously his reputation became a gentleman. He won the Lady Bing uh, a couple of times. If he hadn't uh, well, missed two games going to his dad's funeral, he'd have had over 2,000 consecutive games. That is just, to me, astounding playing. It's, let's face it, hockey's not baseball. His notoriety was obviously staying with it and continuing to play no matter what. And all the way to the end when he finished his career with the old Portland Buckaroos and his nickname then was Dad, for obvious reason. <laughs> biggest thing that I could say about him is that if he was 80 years old and he was capable of stepping on the ice, he'd still be playing. He, the, the game was everything to him. So obviously as a family, um, we've always been proud of him. It's a great honor for, for him and his legacy is uh, uh, appreciated that, that he's recognized.